Eh, what's gonna make me look better? Close or far? Let's go with close. Hey everybody, you're watching Cole the Corn Star. Today we have a gajillion and a half things going on. It's gonna be hectic, it's gonna be crazy. Hopefully we can get out in the field because we are itching to start combining. Before we hop into the video, I just wanted to remind everybody, if you enjoy the content and you wanna help support the channel, the best thing you can do is hit the thumbs up button. And by the way, we do have Corn Star Farms merch available through the link in the description. Well, okay. So uh, that was nobody calling me and they said that they would like this video to get 50,000 likes. <laughs> you guys see what I did there? But seriously guys, if you enjoy the video, just tap the thumbs up button. All right, let's get into it. Oh, hey little buddy. You protecting my doorway? All right, all right, I'll, no, no, you can stay there. I'll let you be. All right, bye. Holy cow, I've never actually seen one of those things fly before. He can move. So yesterday I had Nava pick me up a sprinkler. I've been letting it run in one spot for an hour and then I move it to the next spot. So I've got from here over watered and now we're working on the front yard. The stuff over here was planted just a couple days ago, but the stuff down here was planted about two weeks ago and this is starting to get dry. So we're giving it the old water treatment. I don't know what it is about sprinklers, but I can just sit there and watch those things for hours. Oh, oh man, we got ourselves some shiny bright red today. I washed these two things last night in the dark and they turned out really well. I do see a spot on top of that fender that I missed though. You always miss the top of the fender, always. <laughs> Now I'm doing what is quite possibly the worst job I can do on Corn Star Farms and that is clean the chemical trailer. This should have been done a couple months ago, but the way time has passed and stuff, it just hasn't been done yet. Luckily, this trailer didn't get too dirty this year. Now, there's kind of three reasons why this trailer is not very fun to wash. The first one is you have to crawl under the deck and clean each one of these individual I-beams all the way down the trailer going this way. And then you gotta turn back and do it the other direction. And we gotta crawl under the middle of the trailer and do the same thing in here. Oh, we can't forget about the other side. Well, hey, it looks like Dad has more semi-tires. Jesus, <laughs> Like we ordered 12 of them or something. Oh, it looks like you're gonna have some fun. Yeah, it's been that way this morning. And then the second worst part is you gotta clean the inside of these tanks. So you're sitting there with your body halfway in through the hole and you're trying to squirt a four foot wand with 4,000 PSI and uh, you get pretty wet on that one. And the last thing that makes it so difficult is it's a semi trailer. So no matter where you squirt on it, it seems like you just splash from the dirty spot over to the spot you just cleaned. And so you end up washing the whole trailer like four times by the time it's all said and done. Now I'm not complaining, I'm just kind of trying to let you guys experience what this is like. This is gonna take me a solid three hours, so we'll be back in a little bit. Hey, look at my car. Oh look, fun, fun, fun! The time lapse just doesn't give the experience justice. But now basically every square inch of this trailer should be clean. I have the front tank filling with some water right now because I need to flush out all the Mixmate stuff so that way I can winterize it. So I'm gonna let that fill up a little bit and I need to go grab my tablet that way I can open all the valves and stuff. Since the Mixmate is basically all electronic, I have to use this tablet in order to actuate all the valves. It's now six o'clock, putting some fuel in the combine. I think we got the settings pretty close. We'll know when we get out there, we gotta adjust them or not. So putting fuel in right now, I'm gonna shut the engine bay cover here and then uh, hopefully go try some. We'll get out, check, make sure uh, I'm not spitting a lot of beans out. And they should be fit to go, but every year it seems like we go out, try it, and you have to get another two or three days. So in a minute here, we'll go ahead out and do that. All right, let's start this thing up. There we 
go. Fire up the monitor here. Getting out here, first look. Everything's looking pretty good. Beans are pretty dry, so some are popping out of the casing here before it even really hits the head. I mean, if I grab a grab one here and just barely even open it, it seems to be cracking good. They're cracking good. So we're gonna keep cutting here a little bit. I'm not seeing too much on the ground. Come down here and kind of grab some of the trash here. I'm not seeing any pods that aren't busting open. We do have a little bit of beans here. The side gate on the auger that takes it up to the tank, the thing was open. So shut that. We're gonna go a little further here and uh, see what we got. It's been almost a year since I've seen that site. It's official, ladies and gentlemen. We are in the field. We're not gonna start full scale tonight. I think Cooper is just making sure everything's running okay with the combine. And then we're probably gonna get a bean sample so that way we can test the moisture. Sure look to be plenty dusty. Focus, guys. Back to winterizing the mix, mate. Those beans must be pretty dry because it's dusty. I'm not gonna bore you guys with all the little specifications of what I'm doing but in a nutshell this tablet is synced to this so i'm opening each one of these valves individually well i'm simultaneously having water run through this circuit so that way we can clean out these hoses and these valves i ran out of water in my front tank so we're waiting on it to fill i got one more to do and then we'll just open up all these valves crack open the bottom of these pumps we need to get the water out of everything we don't want water to freeze in these because if that happens that'd be bad stuff would most likely break let's see we're running got the on track three going hooked up to the monitor it's like we're 63.6 right now. The whole field just do that. That'd be fantastic. Um, it seems like the head's right pretty good. It uh, everything right now seems pretty good. Um, I'm gonna get out here in a second when I dump. Make sure I don't have too much trash. I might have to adjust the sieves a little bit, and uh, we might run for a little while. It, there's not a lot of wind right now, so it's gonna get damp pretty quick. I have a feeling the dust on the the road. Um, is just lingering, so I guess we'll see what happens here. Hopefully we can run for an hour or so, or at least fill a cart, that'd be nice. So, hopefully, we'll uh, keep you updated here. we we'll scroll out here, you can kind of see what we've done. <laughs> we got a little bit done here, so. Yep. Cooper just sent me a text message saying, hey, bring the grain cart, because he's full. Here we go, guys. The maiden voyage, the first load of the year. <laughs> Off, but we'll see what it does here. Oh boy, it's gonna be a tight fit. First couple loads of the year take a little while because we have to do a lot of diagnosing with the machine to make sure settings are correct. So we're climbing up here on top of the cab, looking in the grain tank, making sure we don't have too much trash like these pods. This actually looks pretty clean. And then we'll crack some beans while we're up here to make sure everything's dry enough and they look really wow. nice. The screen cart's a lot taller than our other one, so our auger just kind of barely pokes over this. Tell you what, last night ended like that. The dew came in, the plants got tough, and we had to quit. By dew coming in, I mean this stuff. Now soybeans can be really finicky because if any moisture comes into the air at all, those beans can pick it up and then they can get tough real quick and then we have to stop. Now if my records show correctly, we got 21 acres done today, so we have roughly 580 acres of soybeans left. Before we go here, I just wanted to say thank you for watching and remember, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit the thumbs up button and don't forget about the Corn Star Farms merch we have available through the link in the description. Thanks for watching guys. We'll see you in the next one.